Hello and good evening, this is Ruth Pozuelo from Kerbal.com and uh, today I'm going to show you how to install R for Power BI, to use with Power BI. And uh, don't worry, I'm not going to start doing R videos at all, but we are definitely going to use R for certain things that are actually very useful. And right now I have two things, two really cool tricks in mind that I want to show you. And for that we need R. So first of all, we in this video we will install it. And then in coming videos I will show you what those tricks are. So without any more delay, uh, let's begin. So the first thing we need to do is to go here to this uh, website and uh, download R. So you just click on here and download it. I have already done it, so uh, I won't do it again. And uh, after we've done that, we just uh, click on the installer here, is this one, run. English, next, and then here is the um, standard path. Uh, if you leave it as it is, then most programs will recognize it. If you change it, you will probably have to change it manually. I'm going to leave it like that. I don't need 32. Continue. Do you want to customize? No. And then continue. Sure. And now the installation process begins is fairly quickly. So finish. So that's all you need to do. Uh, now we need to download our studio. And uh, here you have all the platforms. Uh, I'm using Windows Vista and I have already, sorry, Windows 10. So I have already downloaded that and this is the one. So we click on it. Next, next, sure. And finish. So, so now we have everything um, downloaded and installed. So we start Power BI. And here we just need to make sure in options that Power BI recognize the installation. So here is one of the latest uh, updates, Power BI updates that uh, enables you to uh, um, launch the R Studio that we install. We want to have that. So we click on it. And we have to go to R scripting and you recognize this path. This is the one that we had when we installed R. So uh, it just recognizes it because it's the standard one. So everything is up and running. Now, you have enabled one of my previous features. We need to restart. Okay, that's fine. So because this is not a R uh, tutorial, what I am going to do now to test that this works, I am going to go to SQL uh, Dustin. You will get also this link. And he has here a file just at the end of the post. Let's see where it is here to download. OK, so make sure you download that. I've already done it. So we close this one and we open the new file and this is what you get the power bi contains the script visuals and those are the r visuals uh, enable if you want to see them and now it's loading so now that it has loaded as you can see we cannot see any of the visuals and Dustin has done quite a nice job because he wrote here what is missing. He says, you need to install the ggplot2 package. So how do we do that? We need to start our studio. So here we have it. So now it loaded 
entirely and to install those packages that he mentioned what we need to do is here we need to write install packages and now the name of the package g g plot 2 and then you press enter and i of course wrote it incorrectly install packages g like that plot 2 and now there you go so the, what these packages are are like pre-packed code that delivers something so instead of you having to write it somebody else has written that and you're just using it reusing it okay so now it installed let's go back to power bi i don't know if refresh run so here we have our graphs it works so make sure you install r because on uh, coming videos we are going to use it and it's going to be really really yes useful again i will not uh, do r videos but i will definitely show you r when there are scripts and functionality that are useful to us with power bi so thanks for today uh, if you like the video make sure to let me know by liking it uh, if you have comments questions or suggestions use the comment box or the social channels listed below and make sure to subscribe i publish videos every week bye